We've seen hospitals merge together, payers merge together, and all caused a decreasing number in what we call old-fashioned medicine. That means the type of medicine where a physician lives in a community for decades, takes care of patients, often generations in the same family. And we know that that's the best way to deliver health care. What we wanted to do is take that old-fashioned medicine and apply a layer of new technology. We, we started with nine physicians approximately 18 months ago, and we have grown to approximately 430 physicians. And IPA is an independent physician association, which is a group of physicians that form uh, an association, and that association can provide a number of services to its members. A clinically integrated network usually spawns out of an IPA, and the pillars of clinical integration include engaged physician governance, a data system, a corporate structure that supports high quality, low cost care. The Medical Society has been a huge part of Pennsylvania's independent physician associations and, and future clinically integrated networks. Over the past year, a number of IPAs have formed and the Medical Society has been vital in getting us together just for conversation. And what we've learned is all the IPAs in the area are headed towards clinical integration. All the IPAs are very close to acquiring data systems. And you can foresee a situation in the future where not only have these IPAs progressed to CINs and purchased data systems, but with the help of the Medical Society, they've purchased a uniform data system. And you can begin to share quality and cost data, not just across the county, but across the state. And you can share best practices, not just across the county, but across the state. That level of data integration is something that would be the envy, not just of the state, but of the country.